Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. If you watched my previous video um, where I purchased this canvas at Dollar Tree for $1.25, it's 8 by 8 inches and it's called Crafter Square. It's a 100% natural cotton canvas and it's good for oil and acrylic paints, but of course I'm going to use alcohol ink on it. So it's canvas in the front and you can see it's really thin and it's board probably you know cardboard on the back now normally when i work on canvas and al and i use alcohol ink i seal the canvas with two coats of kills 2 which is a water-based primer and it works beautifully but i don't have any so of course i had to improvise and what i'm going to do is i found this can of um, bear interior semi-gloss enamel paint it's ultra pure white and i use this on the trim in my home so i figured well i have nothing to lose i'm going to work with what i've got so i'm going to apply two coats onto this canvas and usually i would use a sponge brush but i don't have any so i do have these uh, chip brushes that you can get at the home depot or you can even buy them online you can get them anywhere. They're really inexpensive, about a dollar a piece. And uh, let's see how that works. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add my two coats of the semi-gloss enamel paint from Bare on here, and then I'll come back when it's dry and we'll give it a try. Okay, so I have applied two coats of the Bare semi-gloss ultra pure white paint on this canvas board and it's completely dry and it feels really smooth. Usually, as I mentioned, I use Kills 2 primer, which is a water-based primer, and it usually seals the canvas beautifully, but I didn't have any. So I thought I would improvise because necessity is the mother of invention. And I always say, use what you've got. So I thought I would try something different on here other than a flower, but I want to show you how the inks move and I figured I might as well stick to the flowers. So, all right, to start with, I'm going to put down the pitch black in the center. And I'm not sure this is going to work, but we will see. All right, so I'm going to use my micro brush. I used a micro brush. And I want this center to be pretty large. I think that this um, board is eight by eight inches. Usually I buy them at like Michael's, but they're much more expensive. So I thought I'd give this a try and see how it works. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Let's dry this. And I'm going to use my little bottles of alcohol and ink mixed together and let's see what colors i'm tired of using the red and the yellow so let's get that out of the way we're not going to use that i think we'll try the blue and the purple because you know how much i like these colors okay now i'm using my airbrush and the psi on that is set at 40. so i think i'm going to put the purple down first and then i'm going to put down the purple Let's see. That worked pretty darn well. All right, so I forget the combination that I put down before, the purple and then the blue. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Now I am getting those frilly edges. And I can't seem to blow them back in like I normally do. But all in all, I think this is working out pretty well. Okay. 
this is working out so much better than I expected. I had no idea if the semi-gloss paint used as primer would work, but we all have that little can of the, uh, the white paint that we use for the trim in our house sitting around in the basement. So if you have some, go grab yourself some of these um, canvas boards. As I mentioned, they have a nice variety of sizes at Dollar Tree, and they're really inexpensive. The prices have gone up from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five, but I think it's still very worth it. Now I did purchase two of these um, canvases and I now I wish I had primed them both at the same time because I have so many ideas running through my mind. This is looking so pretty. I'm so excited. Let me finish blowing this out and then we'll work on the center. But you see how nicely the inks flow on it? Very similar to working on photo paper. I really like the way this blue looks on here. So, okay, this may be my last petal. I know I say that all the time. Just gonna add a little bit more blue in this area here. And right here. <laughs> And I'm excited to create this center. I did kind of clean out the cap <laughs> a little bit, but not very much. I need to work on it a little bit more. And let's grab our micro brush. And I think I want it to go this way. All right. So as I mentioned, I did put two coats of the um, semi-gloss paint on here and I did let it dry in between each coat. So if you're going to give this a try, make sure you let it dry in between your coats. Let's start creating our center. So I'm starting at the top where I want my light source to be coming from. Dabbing off my brush a little bit and then moving down and making my dots a little bit further apart. Okay, let's try that. And I can see that this is not perfectly centered, so I'm going to try and create some more dots up here so that it looks like it's more centered. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. Towards the top. I think that's a little bit better. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video. I always post a picture of the finished painting because it's hard to see it while I'm working on it. 
so I always post a picture at the end of the video so that you can see the finished painting. And while I'm doing this, I'll remind you that all the products used are listed in the description box with the exception of the semi-gloss paint. So be sure to check that out. If you don't see the list, click on show more or the arrow pointing down, depending on whether you're using your phone or a computer. If you're using your phone, click on the arrow pointing down just below the video on the right side. And if you're using your computer, just click on show more, which is located on the left side. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Don't forget to like, comment as well. And I have created a Facebook group called Vivo Vintage Design Tutorials, where you can share your versions of the paintings learned from this channel and techniques. We have a lovely group of members that are just very sweet very supportive and have wonderful ideas and if you would like some feedback on your paintings they will be more than happy to provide that to you and as will I oh this is turning out so much prettier than I expected you guys got to go grab yourself some of these um, canvas boards they're so inexpensive Go grab yourself a few of them. I noticed that they usually have them. They always, well, yeah, they usually carry them. So it's not like those plaques that I bought where it's hit or miss. You might grab some or you might not. Actually, it looks like my light source is coming from this direction more so, the way it's turning out. But oh my goodness, I am so happy with this. Okay, I think I should probably stop because this is just perfect right now. All right. So this is how thick it is. It's just, it's really thin, but oh my goodness, how well this worked. Well, I hope I gave you some great ideas. Go grab yourself some of these canvases, these canvas boards and prime your canvas board and you can make the inks flow just like this. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video and hold on for a picture of the finished painting. Bye.